Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Power Pocket's Let's Play Extravaganza, where we are playing Monster Rancher 4. Hope you enjoyed the new intro, which I like doing for series that actually means something to me. Uh, you'll notice uh, if you have watched the episodes as I do them, um, there was a gap between episodes 5 and 6, and the reason is because I wanted to get some feedback before I did the next one. Um, wanted to make sure you guys wanted to see time skips or not see time skips as the case may be. So I've gotten the feedback. Uh, I figure I'll just do time skips as I need to for the repetitive parts. But obviously for any storylines, for first time explorations, blah, 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 you will see everything. So we, uh, in the last episode, we, what did we do? It's been like a week since I played. And again, this is why I try to, uh, this is why I'm recording it, because it's hard for me to remember what needs to be done. Um, we, uh, we, what did we do? We beat our first big monster, and now I think we have the next set of competitions unlocked. Um, Garu here. Where'd you go, buddy? There you are. Garu here is now a C-class monster. Oh, so I could pull up his calendar from there. Anyway, he's now a C-class monster, and the way the game controls what you can and cannot do, uh, you can see here that Garu can participate in C-class tournaments like the Butterfly Cup next week, but if we keep hitting R1 and cycle through the months, there is no official competition. We have D-class official competitions, but we don't have any C-class official competitions. Um, and the game does that for a sense of control. That way, uh, we have to go for the next storyline before Garou can be upgraded from a C-class to a B-class. Now, I'm going to go ahead and enter him in next week's tournament. I don't think that's probably the best idea I've ever had, but uh, I want to test his strength. Now, there's also the S-Class competitions here because there are certain monsters you can make off of, I think, old Monster Rancher discs that give you um, monsters who will live very short lives. Like, I think in Monster Rancher 2, if you used a Monster Rancher 1 disc, you would get a Suezu that actually had maximum statistics. It had 990 or 999 in everything but it only lived one week. So the point was you would make that monster just specifically so you would insta-win a tournament and then it would immediately die and you couldn't really use it to breed anything. So um, I would assume there's some kind of monster like that, which is why they allow you to enter an S-class uh, competition now, but you know, I don't know. Um, I certainly don't have any monster like that, so we're just moving on. Uh, let's see. Still can only go to Toggle. Toggle. Eh, maybe we'll get a cutscene. I actually don't remember. I do have a second save file going um, f to scratch the Monster Rancher itch. Ah, here we go. Um, when I'm not recording. So anyway. Dingle, look at that. Visitors from the ocean. What? From the ocean? What do you mean, Rio? Oh. Yeah. Just knows this big-ass ship that happens to be floating on by next to the cliff. That is a weird-ass masthead. Yeah, I think it caused some damage. I'm thinking about ramming ships since I played Assassin's Creed last month. So this is Gunwale, who is all interested in this ranch. Apparently we are becoming a national name. Uh, the name's Gunwale, proud man of the sea. What do you need? Yeah, Rio doesn't quite trust him and neither do I. Pollock told me about the young band of travelers heading across the sea to the capital. But such marvelous young people can't do without a boat. Gotta love forced perspective. His finger is about as big as his head. So I rushed over here to offer you my trusted sardine, you see. Uh, Ahoy! You mean this boat? We couldn't. No, no. Don't be silly. Except. Okay, I'll take it. We don't have to be polite, Dingle. Let's just jack it. Shit. All right, so blah, fucking blah. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, he gave us the boat, and that's it. So, yeah, that was the next storyline deal. Um, we'll, let's see, I'm gonna rest 
Garou since he now has a competition. Um, you know, the rest of you don't freaking need a rest. I don't know why. I do forget, though, since it's been too long, what their weaknesses are. I think I was working on... No, his accuracy is pretty damn good. So I guess I'm working on his... Ugh, his defense is horrible. And Maynard has the opposite problem. So we will give Rasta here... Oops. Some training on his defense. And Maynard here will train on his accuracy. And that'll be enough for this week. So, by having a side file, I'm able to experiment a little bit more and try, trying to remember how to play. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry about the cameras there. You suck. Stop fucking up with your stupid... Yeah, I don't care. Oops. Now, monsters have... Uh, like, they have natural stats that they're good at and bad at. I think I mentioned that in episode one or two. Um, so Rasta here probably has a shit defense stat uh, in general. Um, but I gotta force him to work on it, otherwise he's gonna be a one-hit kill anytime he gets involved in a fight, so... Alright, we're good. So, next week we will go to... Ryu and here will sail across the seas and go forth, but for now we will enter the Butterfly Cup. Since this is the first C-Class battle, I will go ahead and record it for you guys. Um, so, next week we will not have a time skip either. Next week in game terms, that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, especially since this is only a four uh, monster contest, only three fights maximum, or, well... It'll be three fights unless Garu gets injured. Hopefully we don't have that happen. Ugh. Those stats aren't good. The stat comparison, that is. Um. Now, in the other, uh, in my other file as well, I also did a lot more exploring and, uh, to build up some attacks. Because Garu especially gets some crazy good attacks, uh, but he has to earn them. And so... If I decide that I'm going to go do that, like I said, I'm going to just um, time skip over those. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me explore and grind for a half hour. Frickin' die! Stop dodging! Thank you. Jesus. Bow Bow just scares the crap out of me. That body type, I don't know what they're called. Um, Kalo Shade has been helping us out in the comments by giving us some information. I've been calling them class or race. Apparently, they're officially called breeds. Um, but I don't know the name of any of the breeds. I do know, now that I've looked it up, this is a Garu. Uh, like, if you have a pure breed, then their name is the breed. So this is a pure Garu, because he's a Garu breed and a Garu subbreed. Um, and Tiger is the blue wolf-looking creature. Uh, Suezo is the single eyeball creature, which we haven't seen yet, and they always freak me out. Um, Mochis are the Pikachus, and I think you are... Yes, actually, I can. I know for a fact, because I'm remembering the storyline ahead, you cannot get a Mochi until you unlock a storyline milestone. And because of that, I have a feeling that there's a Mochi on that disc that was rejected, um of the Akamura's collection when we ran them through the shrine. And I don't really like mochis, so I don't really care if that is what's on there. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but you do get a mochi, and the, the character has an issue with mochis, which is why you can't get one until you settle those demons, so to speak. Uh, that Pippin over there has a Mochi color set, a Mochi subbreed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ow. Okay. Ow. Skewer is right. Jesus. All right. Ugh. Hang on, Garu. We got this, buddy. So, Garu apparently can be competitive at this level, but he's not really good at it. So, we have to take that into account whenever we do these fights. 
All right, hooray, we won the Butterfly Cup. So that gives them a star for the C-Class. We're one step closer to getting an official competition eventually. Can't do it right now, obviously, since we don't have access to that. Uh, to that, um, words. To that competition, but we will have it soon. Oh, and if you can tell, I'm actually breathing okay on, like, the first five episodes. It's one of those things, I love this game so much that I really didn't give a crap. Oh, sorry. I didn't really give a crap about um, my inability to breathe. There's some, sometimes, like, you know, I'm too, I'm actually too sick to record, um, or I just don't feel well, and, I, and so I don't record. But uh, I wanted to play this game too badly last time around, so I dealt with it. Okay, I'm I'm being more aggressive on this file when it comes to training. Like, I normally rest those monsters. Oh, good. Okay, Rasta knows what he's doing there. Maynard still kind of sucks. Although I still need to work on their defense. Uh, Rasta's, that is. I scold you because you suck and you're pissing me off. His focus is crap because of everything... Fine, have a squid. I keep forgetting that you want other foods. I have a notebook right beside me. I should probably write down their foods. Okay. Food. Potato. And like I said, we're going to go across the sea this week. And enter the next storyline competition. I can't believe half the episode's already over. This is... This episode... Or this series is going to be like... Really fast moving. All right, we'll praise you. That's weird. You're weird, Rasta. You have a mochi subbreed, too. You're weird. Ugh, ugh, ugh. All right, so we're going to move to, or sail, rather, to Ruin. 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 Something. And it's a much bigger city. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the capital Rio, and it's even bigger than I imagined. Yeah, it's like Los Angeles. You're flying over and you can't see any, you know, nature. Look at that dingle. It says Rio and Rookie Cup. Wow, a new competition. Let's go have a look. Okay, yes, there are about 8,000 million people in this stadium. Is that you, dingle? Graham, why are you here? Nice to see ya. What the heck are you doing here? I can't believe you quitting school all of a sudden like that. <gasps> Twist! I thought we got expelled. Now here's something you won't believe. I became a, re a breeder here. I kind of screwed up this competition so that's why I'm here. Wow, you became a breeder right after graduating the school. You dummy. There's only one real ace who graduated from Elevy's school and it's her. Look up on the stage. Take a look at the champion. It's Philia with her cute little angel nurse person. From our same class, she's the top-ranked FIMBA rookie. Thank you, Mr. Exposition. And she's cute, too. She's earned instant popularity. She's really incredible. Wow, everybody's working so hard. I can't wait to battle with everybody. Oh, I'll go to the association and ask if I can enter the competition now. All right, so every branch has its own association, obviously. Don't know why I'm explaining that. Hello, Pierre. Welcome to FIMBA. I'm the receptionist. Hello, we're here, too. First year appointment. Name, please. What? Uh, we just came from Togo. We don't have an appointment. Well, that's no good. I'm sorry. We can't see you today. Look at that angry face. I'm gonna take those glasses and smash them up your eyes. In your eyes. First, fill out this form and this form and this form. Don't forget to dot your eyes and cross your T's and come visit us again next week. You fucking douchebag. All I wanted to do was ask a few questions. Why do you have to be such a jerk? This is the FIMBA headquarters. We can't have people coming in without appointments. Now you come again next week and we'll answer any little question that you may have. But for now, well, the exits are right over there. <sighs> it's nothing like the Togo Monster Association. That's right, baby. We're in the equivalent of Los Angeles here. We're not from the Midwest. Or we're from the Midwest. We're not in the Midwest anymore. But Dingle's cool with it. He's all, shoot, looks like we'll have to come back next week. But while I'm standing here, I may as well go into the item shop, buy some shit. Um, I can't remember how many potatoes I have eaten, but... 
Uh, apparently we need potatoes and squids, except I don't have squids. Um, okay, well that's good enough, I don't care. Alright, we're good. And then the third building here is the library, and I'm just gonna blaze through this. Basically, you, uh... Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna blaze through this. That chick's name is Read Me. Yes, Read Me. Anyway, uh, we find these thingies called memos while exploring, and we give it to him. I don't know if it actually does anything, but it does let you read some of this backstories and stuff. You know, a number of years back, Fimba and IMA worked in cooperation to create a breeder school. Yeah, okay. So, that's all backstory. We're not worrying about that bullshit uh, for the Let's Play. But that is one of the things we are to do when we are running around and exploring the world. Or exploring uh, caves and such. But for now, we're just going to have another week of training. Um, Alright, so you, what are you doing? I want you to, to start doing sandbag again. Now you get to rest twice. And you get to rest twice. Okay, I should do it. Garu's getting a little tired. I'm not going to scold him for fucking that up, though. Wait, yes I am. You're not tired. You're not tired enough to... 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 start sucking in training. Come on. Alright, frustrated, frustrated. Okay, that's fine. Okay, back to Ryuin. I find that little bit of time wasting a little annoying um, because they could have, just from a design standpoint, they could have just let you go on with it instead of going back to the stupid association. But I guess it does reinforce the point that these guys are big and powerful and need appointments because, you know, you can't have, uh, you, you, it's not just casual to walk in and do shit. So, whatever. Anyway, elf school dropped out, meaning I don't have an official breeder's license. And because I don't have an official breeder's license, then I can't enter the Korean competition. Which he says with a happy little smile that you just want to kick off him. His nose. Something. Anyway. Uh, according to your Togo registration, you entered with a recommendation. For local competitions, recommendations from a respected member of the community is acceptable. But we can't have just any bit of riffraff entering the top level competition. Dingle is the Togol champion. Then it shouldn't be a problem for him to get a real license. God, I want to punch you in the eye. Just kick his ass, Rio. Yeah, if you would kindly shuffle over to the exit. Fucking douche. So, we're moping. Uh, there's TT and her TTs. Uh, she's in a very bad mood. She's upset at Felia being awesome. And TT storms home. Move it or lose it, Grandma. So she just shoves some old woman down for no reason. Um, and the old woman has hurt her back. So we're going to take her home. Dot, dot, dot. And her name is Maro. And blah, blah, blah. Okay. And whoa, what a coincidence. She happens to be the grandmother of Philia, who is blushing just to see me and my manliness, which is great. Tell her the story, but Grandma is still injured, and she needs... Okay, god damn it. Talking, talking, talking. All right. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. I made that a little too fast. Hold on. One more time. <laughs> I, I think I saw what I had to do. Okay, did I find any? No, not yet. Okay, please find mushrooms. Search the cave. Okay, so we have to go back to the cave and find some mushrooms. That's what we are doing. And we'll do that next week. Uh, the problem with this is it sort of puts a stop to any training I'm doing, since I sort of have to refocus and go all out to get those stupid mushrooms uh, before I can get any farther in the story. And for that matter, any farther in... Um, why are you frustrated? Why are you guys frustrated? You shouldn't be frustrated. I'm intentionally keeping your training relatively light. I could be wearing you out even harder than I am. So, appreciate me. You know, just like when someone doesn't punch you in the face, you should say thank you. Thank you for not punching me in the face. Alright. So, we're gonna feed him a potato. And that's it for this episode, in which we didn't really get a whole lot accomplished. But, 
Uh, we did advance the story a bit, so next time on the show, we will be jumping into the Togo Caves, and we will uh, find those mushrooms. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you tomorrow. <laughs>